So Bea and I are going to walk over to uh, the hardware store, which is just down a couple streets over and down the street. So this is kind of good. Instead of driving everywhere, we're walking. And uh, we're going to go get some cat food that I found yesterday that's really good for my babies. And uh, something came up today. Now, yesterday when we did our reading, it was, uh, Spirit was talking about copper. It was three of the, the items that I chose and they were all copper. I This was the necklace that Spirit chose for me. And in truth, this is the necklace they chose for me. Um, I was, was telling, talking about the color of this is the sacral chakra and the root chakra, which is uh, your first chakra and your second chakra, right? So the root chakra is how you move forward in life, your stability, being grounded, rooted down to the earth, and uh, which is what you get when you walk on the land, you stay out, go out in nature, it's very important to me and everyone. Uh, for healing and uh, the sacral chakra is the seat of sexual energy and creativity and uh, so anyway what I want to show you today are my rings see this copper can you see it I don't know I've got glasses on I'm wearing it upside down because I want the most amount of the of the the ring to touch my skin and I have one on this finger right here it doesn't that doesn't make sense to you I know it I mean the most amount to cut touch my sin. I don't want to interrupt with my um, my raw ruby. So, but it's completely covering the bottom of that hand of that skin and this one as well. And it's been made by my friend. Um, these were gifted to me by my friend Sam Dussel of Serendipity Bus. He hails from Bend, Oregon. He and his cat Ash. He's a cat lover, and they live full time in this in the Serendipity Bus. And he creates the most beautiful copper jewelry. Um, the copper trees that almost, I mean, anybody that's anybody that can get to him wants one of those trees in their bus. And uh, my girlfriend, Chrissy, went to Descend on Band. Uh, Chrissy of Earth, uh, Earth to Chrissy, come here. She's got a bus similar to mine. I speak about her a lot. And uh, Descend on Band is the bus, is the bus thing. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering if she met up with Sam. I hope she did. And I hope she got a tree from him for her dash. But, uh, the, of the seven metals of alchemy, copper represents Venus, the goddess of love, right? Passion, sexual desire, intimacy. And uh, often people wear copper for rheumatoid arthritis and joints, stiff joints, right? People have long known of the healing effects of that. But I was talking to spirit about my skin. I'm a pescatarian, mostly vegetarian, and I'm really bad at it. I do really, I have to get do more research about how to get more protein in my body. And I said, my skin, I need, I said, what can I do to, to boost my collagen? And I, I don't want to do weird, weird stuff. Like I, and I, as a pescatarian, I mean, I don't want to take the bovine, the animal, right? And so would you not know when I, when they kept showing it to me, I'm like, why is spirit showing me this? I literally just said, what can I do to boost my collagen? Wear copper. Now my friend, John of Desert Lace, they have, uh, at the art show, they have perfected, and no one else has been able to do this, the ability to take the cactus skin off of the cactuses without disturbing the skin and protecting the fiber inside, and they make jewelry. And yesterday when I was at the art show, I was told to go talk to him. And I said, what are the be healing benefits of copper? And I already was shown from spirit what I, what I shared with you. Um, but he said to me, you can't take in, like ingest the amount of copper that you would want with like, without hurting yourself. So, and he says, and most people don't like to have their skin turn green from the copper, right? They don't like that. So they, like, if you get a ring that's, it's not pure silver, it'll be copper underneath and it turns your skin green. You realize it's not sterling silver or gold, right? But he says a lot of people don't want to. So what we do is we, we coat the copper. And he says, but if they, we have un, uncoated, now they're at the art show, they'll be at the art show um, next weekend for Red Rose Thriftique in support of animals um, with all of their jewelry and they have uncoated copper um, underneath the desk, they said, because most people want it copper, I mean, they want it coated. He says, but if you wear the copper against your skin and you allow it to turn green on your skin, it will only, your skin will only take in the amount that it needs. So it's, 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 you can't overdo, overdose it and it's gonna give your body what it needs. So I'm like, you know what? You guys need to contact Sam Dussel. He makes these beautiful wire 
wire. They are, the copper wire rings and these incredible trees. You've seen them on my bus. Um, I'll put my link, his link here, but he is Serendipity Bus on um, Instagram and he's Sam Dussel. Um, and I'll put the links in, but uh, I can't get over this. Ladies, start wearing your copper. And I got this one right next to my chest, right? Not to mention getting grounded to getting earthed outside. I'm earthing right now with my baby. So there you go, copper. Copper to boost your collagen, ladies. And if you got, you know, carpal tunnel or arthritis or whatever. <laughs> it's interesting, he gave me two. And one is little that goes on my pinky. And I thought, well, this one must be a man's one, right? I, I, but I don't have a man in my life. No, I'll just squish it and put it on a bigger finger. So I'm using them both. So Sam, I'm like, I, I, it's, it's, it's like what I said yesterday about my uh, humidifier that I'm using with the healing mist, with all of the um, silver solution. And I actually added Echinacea and Devil's Claw and Super L uh, Lysine into the water. And it's pouring down into the little area where my cats are sleeping. And Spirit showed me yesterday when the rainbow came out, because my mother shows up in the form of rainbows. I felt, the, they said, turn around and I looked and I, and I thought they were showing me the mist, and they were. But then I realized there was a double rainbow. So the rainbow represents, look at this sky, you guys. So beautiful today! <laughs> oh. But I felt it was coming over the mountains. And I, when I was in, uh, lived in California, and I, we, we lived in Red Hawk, California. I lived on Red Hawk, um, and what was it, Red Hawk? Parkway and Wolf Valley Road, my two major <laughs> totems. And the mist from the ocean used to come over, you could see it, it was like a hand coming down over the, over the mountains, this healing ocean mist, right? So when I turned around and I looked at our, our beautiful mountain right up here, I turned and into my face, the mist was coming and I said, oh, that healing mist. And then my uncle Phil in Wisconsin was taking some pictures and he posted them yesterday of a place and I saw the mist and I said, Uncle Phil, I posted a picture that looked almost exactly like this, but it's in Oak Creek Canyon. And I, and he was, it was a place that he and his late wife, Linda had, had gone to. And this is the first time he had gone since she had passed. And I said, I love how she hangs around you like a healing mist. And then it clicked in my head, that mist that you were doing. Is it working? Is it working on my babies? Yes. It's healing them. Just like that healing mist, just like in uh, England, when people had, what was it that they were tuberculosis? They would wrap them in blankets and sit them outside at the beach to suck in that healing mist. So I'm getting so many messages from Spirit, I love it. This is where I was when I was standing yesterday and I looked up at those mountains and the mist was like pouring towards me and the giant rainbow, which is my mom saying, good job, girl. This is what you need, the mist is healing. Yay! Go get a hold of Sam, Sam Dussel. Hey, and follow him on Instagram because he does some amazing things. He's an amazing person. I'm uh, proud to call him my friend.